Hey guys, this is Bobby Bachman here, and today I'm going to be making my first tutorial on how to create muzzle flash effects for any kind of movie or whatever you're making. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need Adobe After Effects, and if you do not already own After Effects, you can download it for a free 30-day trial from the Adobe website. I'll have a link to it in the description. Alright, now let's jump right into it. Now, first off, you obviously need to take footage of yourself or whoever pretending to shoot a gun, like I already have here. And you need to find the spot in which you first pull the trigger in which the initial shot will come out as if it were a real gun. Now you need to add the muzzle flash stock footage, whether it be a picture or a video. I prefer using video. Uh, in the description I'll have a link to detonationfilms.com which is where I get all my stock footage. It's very good quality stuff and it's free, which is what's always stood up to me. But if you already have muzzle flashes at your disposal then it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, now just give me a second to find the muscle flash that I want, because there's a bunch in here. Uh, there we go. Now go in. Now the muzzle flash itself, it, it will only last for one frame. It's just a quick light that comes out of the gun when you shoot it. What you need to do is select it and then set the blending mode to screen, which will delete the black and just leave the muzzle flash. Go transform and scale it way up so that it's a lot bigger. And then, oh, and then drag it onto the gun. Like so, maybe make it a little bigger. There, that looks about right. Alright, now that you have the initial muzzle flash, it's time to add a smoke effect. Now, just like with the muzzle flash, there's a couple different ways that you can get smoke. You could record it yourself by using firecrackers or something. Or you could buy it from a special effects pack like um, like Action Essentials. Um, Detonation Films doesn't really good, have really good smoke. So I created my own using After Effects. I'll have a separate tutorial on that if you want it. Now you're going to drag the, uh, the stock footage of your smoke in and put it between the muzzle flash stock footage and the uh, initial footage, as it would be called. <laughs> so this is not first and drag it down so it lines up and you have it starting at the same time as the muzzle flash now just drag it on maybe make it a little bigger like so and uh yeah looks about good let's just preview what we have so far alright that looks good so far Alright, now the next step is to have the environmental interaction, which is basically when you shoot a gun, how the environment interacts, how it'll light up for a couple frames. So what you're going to do is take the base footage and duplicate it, and take the one that is on the top, and change the blending mode to add, which will brighten it up and make it very bright. Now we're not going to keep it like this, we're going to take the pen tool and mask out the parts of the image that will be initially affected. like. And, and this is part of the gun, maybe. And then this part of here. Then you want to take the elliptical mass tool and make a large elliptical behind the gun shot, where it's going to be the biggest. And now what you're going to do is... Go to, the, go to each mask and feather it down so you can't see the actual shape, like so. Feather. That looks about right. And feather that one. Feather. And mask three. Feather this one. It doesn't really matter where you put the effects, just as long as it like sort of looks realistic, like where you expect the gun flash to affect your body the most. And uh, for the elliptical tool that you're going to put behind the gunshot, you're going to want to feather this one the most. It's almost like a shadow, if you will. Alright. So, um... Yeah, and last but not least, just, um, is getting it to fade out. Now, time it up with this. So that it, it make it last, like, five-ish, or two frames. I like using two frames and cut it so it lasts two frames. What you're going to do is you're going to go to transform, 
and put keyframe on the opacity like so then go over like two or three frames whichever you like to use and bring the opacity down to zero so that it will slowly fade out over the course of two frames which isn't really slowly but you get the idea so yeah you're basically done at this point you should have a good effect and uh, you, yeah just look at it again one more time just so you can sort of ex just sort of get what we got just got all right so yeah we got a good effect uh, i hope you guys got some knowledge out of this tutorial uh, if you want me to make another tutorial on whatever effect just leave a comment requesting it in the comment section below but um yeah that's basically it i will talk to you guys later bye